This lesson covers continuously compounded interest and applications. Continuously compounded interest. If an initial principal P is invested at an annual rate R and the interest is compounded continuously, the amount A in the account after T years is A of T equals P times E raised to the power RT. Thinking of the word PERT helps to remember this formula. Example, if Ted's CD compounds continuously with an annual interest rate of 3.45%, what will be the result of his investment of $5,000 at the end of five years? So we're using the formula A equals P times E raised to the power RT. Here we're trying to solve for A, and so we'll, we know that P here will be equal to 5,000, the amount that Ted starts with. We have the interest rate R of 0.0345. The time is five years, so t is equal to five here. We'll plug these numbers in and have a equals 5,000 times e raised to the power 0 0.0345 times five. Through a calculator, I can see that Ted will have $5,941.36 in his CD at the end of five years. We solved the same problem earlier using quarterly compounding and found the result to be $5,936.97. That was $4.39 less than Ted got with continuous compounding. Another example, with interest compounded continuously at an annual interest rate of 3.45%, how long will it take for Ted's investment of $5,000 to double? Okay, so this time we're looking for time, and we started with $5,000, that will be our P. We want that amount to double, so A here will be 10,000, and our interest rate here is still 0 0.0345. So let's plug in those numbers. 10,000 equals 5,000 times E raised to the power 0 0.0345T. I'll divide through by 5,000. That gives me 2 equals e raised to the 0 0.0345t. And I'll take the natural log of each side here. And then after I've taken the natural log of, on the right side, I can rewrite that as just 0 0.0345t. So we have the natural log of 2 equals 0 0.0345t. Dividing through by 0 0.0345 gives me a t value of natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.0345. Through a calculator, I can find that it will take approximately 20 years for Ted's $5,000 to double. Try on your own. If Sandra decides to invest her $4,500 tax refund at an annual interest rate of 9.7% compounded continuously, how long will it take for her $4,500 to double?